today because we are going to go meet up with some friends, uh, Bill and Leslie from Canada that we met here before. They are the ones that introduced us to Steve and if you've watched our previous videos you will know about that crazy journey that we went with with Steve. It looks like Bill and Leslie are out so we're not able to catch up with them but we did want to let you know we can't tell you it's it's kind of a surprise yeah it's definitely out of respect for bill he said he didn't want anything to be youtube famous out of it um, but since you are part of the few people following us right now we'll let you know plan to be at coyote beach in winter early spring talk with bill and leslie they'll be here for sure and he's got something really cool going on that if you can be a part of it it's definitely worth being a part of yeah and that's about all we can say about that so we're going to continue our trek north and uh, go check out the next beach yep well we arrived at playa los cocos and we were able to set up our camp took a little bit of effort it was hot it took some time to find a spot where we could get where we didn't have a crazy amount of leveling to do and now that we found it it is absolutely beautiful and we we're looking forward to spending a couple of days here Lindsay's cooking dinner it's got chicken and coconuts and she made homemade fries smells awesome it's gonna be awesome we're gonna eat that we may even splurge on a shower tonight who knows living dangerous living large whatever you want to say a shower is premium when we're out here boondocking so we may go ahead and do that and um, then we're gonna call it a night wake up early hopefully before the wind and have a have a great morning paddling around we do have the paddleboard ready to go in our private palapa the sunset makes these colors just as spectacular as the sunrise. And with that, we'll see you later. Good morning, Lindsay. Good morning. Mm, it's hard to get up. We are not morning people. It's just after seven o'clock and uh, the sun's already up. It's about as good as we get. So the first person up has the honors of making the coffee or in Lindsay's case, tea. It's usually me. Sometimes she beats me up, but I mean, beats me up. Black eye beats me up. <laughs> Sometimes she gets down before me and gets it going, but it's usually me that gets coffee going. Here, hubby. Come here. Come here. Come on. Come here. Come here. Come on. Everest, come on. Let's go. Everest. Good girl. Good girl. Good.
Don't judge us, but we don't make the bed every day. <laughs> While Chris takes Everest out for her morning walk, I'm going to do some stretches before I take the paddleboard out this morning. Sit. Wait. Wait. Okra. Oklahoma. Ocala. Obama. Okay. If you're wondering about the tennis ball, ever seats her food really fast, so we put the tennis ball in there to slow her down a little bit. We're not torturing her, we're just keeping her healthy. My morning routine involves taking my supplements and I thought I would show you all the different supplements I take. 
to help treat my Crohn's naturally. Every morning I take fermented cod liver oil. I take a critical digestion uh, enzyme, usually with every meal. A um, thousand milligrams of curcumin. And I take doTERRA Lifelong Vitality Pack. And I love these vitamins. They are full of all sorts of good stuff. In Mexico, leave plenty of time for a siesta. We've come to my favorite part of the day, and that is where Lindsay cooks a delicious dinner. I think we're having pot roast tonight. I was pretty excited about that. But the thing about pot roast is that she cooks it in our Instabot, and I need to turn the generator on. And that's a really cool little setup that we've got. As we've shown in our tour, we have a special place where we keep our generators between, between the truck and the camper. So I'm gonna go break out a generator, get it fired up so she can cook an awesome dinner.
Apparently I'm taking too long to make dinner. Apparently you're taking too long to make dinner. Why do you have to repeat everything I say? Really? Mm. Huh. It's huh. not coming out. Mm. It's that good, huh? Mm-hmm. You drink it. It's the bottom. And there's no way you're getting a chip in there. You can hold it upside down with the lid on. Yes. I don't know what kind of sense that makes. Look, on my chips. Is it gravity brings it to the top? Now look, here's the other problem. The chips, oh, they're all crumbly. So. So drop them in there. They have to be Pour creative. Them in there. No. Yeah. No, because then I'll never get them out. Yes, you will. No, I've by thought, dumping them. No, I've thought through it. They'll get covered in the this sauce. This is easier. All right, just stay in that position for 10 minutes. Oh mm. my gosh. He's loco. Here it is, by the way. Row, great, great, great recommendation. In Wyoming, Ro got me hooked on this. And of course, we can find it in Mexico, which is great. So, so it's called Salsa de Guacamole. Yeah, we're it's not like guacamole salsa. We're not affiliates. We're not related in any way to here it is, but I freaking love this stuff. I'm gonna lick the bottom of the jar with my lizard tongue. Ew. What are you, yeah. a killer whale eating half your body weight in one night? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> and now, perhaps the best part of the day. Dinner! My potato is slightly undercooked. Don't, Don't mind say that, it's cooked bite. perfect. Mm. Mm-hmm. I'll taste some foot, babe. You put your foot in it? I did. I it's good. Sometimes the dishes do themselves. Is that proper English? Do themselves? Yeah. Sometimes the dishes get done all by themselves. <laughs> As in this case. Look at that. Bedtime? You ready for bed? You are. Look at his ears perp up. Good girl. Oh, nice shot of Chris's butt. <laughs> up she goes. And bedtime. Bedtime. By the time we get in bed, there'll be a nice wet spot on her sheets where she's licked herself. <laughs> Every night. Every night. Sometimes twice on Tuesday. It's been one action-packed day today here at Los Cocos. Sorry, I have food in my mouth. Why aren't you talking? Because <laughs> I have food in my mouth. Can we just eat dinner? Yeah, I'm, I'm snacking. I'd have something sweet. You're snacking after dinner. I know. Most people snack before dinner, babe. Like me. But I needed something sweet. I'm supposed to say all, oh, but you're sweet enough. No, that's morning. Yeah, it is. It has been a long day, but a fun day here at Los Cocos on the Bay of Conception. I think one of our favorite camping spots. Beautiful it's beach. Very nice. Mm -hmm. Paddled around, went for hikes. There's been great bioluminescence that doesn't show up on camera. So we can't show you. But it's been great. There's a little bit of rain going on right now, so it'd be nice to fall asleep to. Mm hmm. So with all we did today, there's just one last thing to do. Good night. <laughs>